Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. If you guys remember, I started to do just a little overview on this lawnmower when I first picked it up. Today, hopefully we have the time to um, start working on it and hopefully finish it today. Uh, I just got done with work a little later than I anticipated. Um, I have to sell a couple of things today, which is great. So I'm just going to try and squeeze everything in. So if you remember correctly, right, this is a very common problem that I see. Ironically, this is the first one I'm fixing this season. The last one I fixed, believe it or not, was in the dead set of winter. Okay? This person here decided to drill holes in the hub assembly and think that would fix his problem of the wheels concaving out. Now, you will see this on most lawnmowers, especially self propelled there's a hub bearing inside that's failed. Look, here's your snap ring, and here's a piece of your hub bearing. I don't know if you guys can see. See that? Your dead set giveaway. And that happens, right, two ways. Being an animal and slamming this thing on your driveway, concrete, whatever, or if you are a professional or whatever and you, use some, and you don't strap it down, this machine is going to be bouncing around, up and down, left and right, side to side in your trail. Now I bought this one mower running and driving. Right? Okay. So it was a home run. It's in great shape with the exception of that. Now, I keep wheels in stock. Unfortunately, they are white. But modern day problems call for modern day solutions. We're going to take care of that. Alright? You have to pop the rears off. We're going to paint them black. Now, why black? Well, guess what? This thing is three different colors. Now, if I had gray wheels, I'd slap gray wheels on there, but I don't. And they actually cost a couple of bucks more. It's okay. Slap some paint on it. And guess what? Black wheels, black bag. When we shine this up, this machine will all tie in together. So in the meantime, I'm just going to throw a quick coat of paint on these wheels. And we're going to start disassembling the front end. So here's just another quick note. There's a gear on the assembly that locks into here. 90% of the times, if one wheel spins and the other one doesn't, these gears inside the wheels are shipped. Get new ones. Don't be a bum clock and buy one, buy both. They're less than 25 bucks. So obviously these are clean. Except for my uh, handprints on there, right? So I'm just gonna paint them up. Three coats. All this one mower is going to need. Three coats is pretty is being generous. But I don't want this thing to peel the first time this guy uses it. And reveal what he did to this thing. So I have two paint cans out because this one is almost at the end of its life. And we're not be using an entire paint can on this week. So this is going to be a little bit of a restyle. And not even a restoration. Can you see that? It's going to go right over the wheel. It's a warm up. Not a 67 Mustang. Or a 2000 Saturn SW2. And if you guys have been following my journey, you'll understand why I'm that. See? Look at that. Nice and black. Now, if you look at the new higher end Craftsman lawn mowers, guess what color those wheels are? Even the Toros, even the Hondas, look at the color of their wheels. Black, baby. Arians, too. 
that's why I refigured, I had to, I did some, a little paint mark on an area, right? To mask its age, per se, it has a color on it, it's not too old, but to update it, right, I painted the wheels black. So it looks like the new areas that are being sold for like six to eight hundred bucks. And that was, it had this sticker on it too, that was a Home Depot special. There's nothing wrong with Home Depot mowers, don't get me wrong. So I pulled the Home Depot sticker off of it. guy to know right off the bat that he painted these wheels. Now because I painted these wheels, believe it or not, I usually try and take, you know, the Saturn on everything I sell and buy. But when I paint something black, and sometimes they catch it, I'm not gonna lie. And they point it at and I'll be like, well look at my truck. Look at me and Dingo. Oh, look at that. Look at that beast. What color is Mandingo? All black. I blacked out that truck. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's my alibi. Like I said, on a rare occasion, people catch it. Alright, we'll set that to the side. Mm. Let's get this party started. Alright, so let's take off these wheels. Well, this wheel. We'll start with this one first. Should be a 916. Here we go. Wheel off. And look at that. See that? Why won't it? It's not popcorn. Why won't it self propel? Well, there's your answer. Chewed to shit. Oh, look. And ball bearings. Out of what? So, like I said before, right, you're going to need a couple of bones, one specialty tool to get this job done. We're not there yet, but it's a set of snap -backs. So let's pop this off. So the first thing to do is, this is an E-clip. You have to disassemble this. You have to push this off. Now, E-clips can be tricky at points. What I like to do is just take my needle nose, right, just give it a little hit. should pop out. Now the thing is, you don't want to be an animal when taking these off because you don't want to strip these or bend these. Come on. See? This is your E-clip. So let's stick this all in here. Right, so you have E-clip. This is your washer that's been broke. No, this is the front of the hub bearing because that's where the ball bearings came out. This will go here. That's garbage. Next is this pin here, right, that holds everything in. This is directional, and a lot of times they groove into the hub assembly, so you have to kind of push those out. Not a big deal. So let's find out what side is up and what side is down. Because one of these has a shoulder and we need to figure out, look at the ball bearings just coming out, which side is shouldered. Okay, so this side is shouldered and once I get this out you guys will see what I'm talking about.
Okay, it's hard to see because it's kind of fugazi away, but there's a little shoulder here. So I'm going to put that. Okay, this is a, should be a crush washer. Slide this out. And look, here is what's left of your hub bearing. Look, and the ball bearings are still coming out. Yep, more parts of it. Okay, now we have to remove the inside. These two screws here, 7 16 and we are going to free up the assembly. Just a 7 16 I'm just going to expose everything. Now usually I keep hubs in stock, uh, but I used my last one over the winter and I just kind of forgot to order them. So we're going to see if you guys remember that free lawn mower that we've been picking parts off of. We're going to swap the hubs up from that. Because why not? Now, ironically, if the hub, if, this was, if the whole assembly was the same, just to make it easy, I would have done both. Nah, I wouldn't have. I would have made a video for you guys. I would have done it for the channel. Would have done it for the tube. Can't put a price on happiness, right? So this is your assembly, and which is the good part, since he bolted everything, nothing is coming apart, right? And we'll slide this out, except for the snap ring, that's important. That will come out right here, that's junk. Let me throw another coat of paint on the other wheels. Guys, guess what came in the mail today? The correct hub band. So let's go back. Husqvarna. Part number 5870702201. As always, will be in the description. Okay. So let's get this puppy in there. So remember, right? This goes like so. Everything has to line up. And hopefully, see how this is messed up? It's not too elongated. It's a big word for you guys. That it'll still work. So let's just push this through. Right? So that's all this is. Same like that. We're going to push it through this messed up. Oh, perfecto. Right? That's good. And then we're just going to slide it on this axle. Actually, we don't even need to. We're going to take the snap ring off. Forgot about that. So let's go back to here. Right. This snap ring just goes on like so. And that's it. We're done. Now the crazy thing with the snap ring is you're just you're supposed to put it back on with the pliers. Because you don't want to over stretch. So let's, let's do that. It's going to be a pain in the ass to do that. I you guys getting a good view. But it's pretty simple, remember? We're going to reverse these. We need to squeeze and open. So much different than the other ones. Let's just see if we can do these without the snap rings, without screwing up the snap rings. Let's go get the right tool. Right tool for the right job. Be right back. Alright, see? Right tool for the right job. As I squeeze, it's going to separate. So maybe I can get a good view for you guys. Let's get these needles in here. See that? Oh no, let's do it the other way. Can 
Come on, in the hole you go. Come on, sweetheart. Alright. You guys see this? You guys get the idea, right? That. See how it's locked in? Now there's going to be a little bit of play, unfortunately. wonder if we can tighten this up with a washer. I don't have a washer this big. So, it is what it is. Alright, so let's put this back on. Definitely, this should be so much tighter. I guess so. We tighten everything. Alright. Let's see what happens. This shouldn't be, this feels a little loose, but don't forget that hole is elongated and somebody else is in here before us so we won't know the end result we put it back together I'm just putting these 716 screws in We're missing a really big rubber o-ring. Alright guys, so check this out. Just a standard O-ring kit. If you do any type of repair work, get one of these. Right? I have metric and standard. I'm going to say this is standard. So let's see what we got. Got to get pretty tight and go over this. I think that's pretty good. That's nice and tight. So let's set this aside because maybe we're going to have to double up on this. We'll start this gamut all over again. So.
Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's try this again. Alright, you see that? See that? Now we have, because the O-ring's there, now we have tension then. So let's slide this button back on. And let's end this video. It's been a pleasure. Go home. There's my O-ring kit. Do this 2716 in the back of the hub. Alright? I okay, guess this is the one ticket. See how it's not moving anymore? And I'm supposed to pick up a backpack while it's on my phone went off. I'm trying to rushy rush this video, but I want to get this out of the way so we could uh, put this thing up for sale and move on. All right, so now that that's on, right, now the tricky part is to get this back in there because now it's nice and snug and tight. So it kind of sucks because this O-ring is freshly not squeezed. So we might have to enable this in. There we go. It's one side. Perfect. Remember, because that's held in, it's slotted. See that? That's slotted in there. So now, let's take our gear. Remember, because the gear is keyed this way. Slide the gear. These are tricky. <gasps> so look at that. First shot. Now what I always like to do, every time I do that, just give it a squeeze. Did I do this wrong? Did I forget to do that? No, no, no. <gasps> See what happens when you rush? Shit. So it has to come off again. Because remember, what we do to one side, we must do to the other. Where do we go? This goes here. All right, see? Not the end of the world. Everything doesn't have to come off. Look at that, bing, bang, boom. Whoops. Let's get this wheel. So, <gasps> come on guys, you know it, you know it, you know what I'm going to say, right? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, see that? I shouldn't have saying that. Let me go get my 9 sixteenths. Alright guys, we're on there. So as you guys see, I did some paint work on this thing. Remember? Two different colors. See that? Everything's the same. Let's fire it up. That's it, baby. This is done. Less than 10 bucks. We got this mower 
driving and running the way it should. Alright guys, just remember to strap your equipment down. Do not slam this front end. Or else you'll be blowing bearings out like me. Well, like the guy who I got this from. Alright? Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Pat Taste Performance. Alright? I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? Don't forget to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Bam, baby.